Strap in, Hackmake modders. We're about to take you from hack to zen. Ever since the movie Inception came out, the topic of tops and ever spinning tops and tops that spin longer than other tops, all of this has become increasingly more popular. Last year, David pitched to me an episode of Hack Make Mod he wanted to make based on an ever spinning top. Hello. Hey, Chad, for my next Hack Make Mod episode, how about an ever spinning top? Picture this a top kept alive by electromagnets in the base. I do like that, that's really good, except I just saw an Action Lab video on that. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I can top that, pun intended. <laughs> I'm thinking slim profile with Carl Bugeja inspired layered PCB coils. Power it with a standard five volt USB. Add a hall sensor, multiple coils, a microprocessor, and throw in DC motor controllers for polarity reversal and precise control. That's quite the improvement. I do like that. Um, hold on, I, I gotta go, Giacomo's calling. That's okay, I need to get going on this. It's gonna be a lot of work. Bye ye. Hey Giacomo. Hey Chad, I've been into this meditation thing lately. It helped me eliminate panic attacks. I didn't know you were dealing with panic attacks. So about this ever spin top project, the one David is working on? I, I was just, how do you even? It's perfect for, for people that would never think about meditating. Um, here's what I'm thinking. We all partner on it. I develop the product design and marketing. David does all the electronic thingies and you pay for it. Um, sounds good. Great. Ciao, Bella. Okay, then. Hey, Hack Make Mod people. I'm Hi. Jaco. I'm David. We want to show you something incredible today. This is the first prototype I made. So this is the Infinity Spinning Top. It's uh, a 3D printed top with two magnets in it. This is a hell sensor which detects the magnetic field of those magnets. When it passes, it energizes the coil here, um, this is a homemade electromagnet, which gives a tiny little boost to uh, the spinny magig. Uh, so I, I connected it to an Arduino so I can play around with timings and stuff. Uh, every time the LED blinks, it gives a little boost. I mean, it's it's going, it's been spinning for 10 minutes, I think. You sent me that, per that specific video and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I want to get involved. I'd like to share a video of Giacomo explaining exactly why he wanted to take this project to the next level. I started having panic attacks. And one day I could feel that I was about to have like a very bad panic attack. And if you're not familiar with what a panic attack is, it's basically your brain telling you that you're about to die. It feels like you're not able to breathe. I started looking at the washing machine turning. And for some reason, I started focusing on it. I was actually focusing with something and I was telling my mind subconsciously that, that, that this was the present, was the, the moment that I was living in. And just by doing that little thing, for the very first time, I was able to stop the panic attack from happening. The reason why I was able to stop that bad panic attack, so, I started doing that and my life completely changed in a very good way. What we wanted to do with this product is having, first of all, something that it would look good. So if you have it on your desk or in your home, it's not only like a conversation starter, but it looks good. It looks good for you and it makes you want to do meditation. You look at it and maybe just like, you know, 10 minutes like this and you start doing it just because it looks good or you wanna to start touching it because it looks very good. This is, uh, this, this was our goal. And I think this design, all the thoughts behind it really makes you wanna do that. I absolutely love Giacomo's passion and dedication to helping others through this project. But now we're gonna switch gears. We're gonna hear from David and he's gonna explain all the details that went into developing Motion Zero. He's gonna show how he made this piece of art 
functional. This is going to spin forever unless you set the timer. You can also control the speed with this slider or set the mode with this ball here. See how thin it is? How do you think this works? So this is a metal egg. And a very interesting thing happens when you spin something of this shape. If you spin it like this fast enough, it's actually going to rise up on its end. It's very interesting to see because it defies gravity, like it doesn't make sense. And it vexed scientists for a long time to figure out exactly what was going on. It's called the tippy top problem. And I'll post a link in the description as well. It's a very interesting research paper. I want this to spin forever on my desk because it looks amazing. So basically, what we want to do is turn this into a motor. A motor is basically just magnets pushing on each other or pulling. Like you can move it around with another magnet at a distance. So we put magnets into the egg to turn it into a motor. Ooh, look at that. But the problem is these magnets you can't turn on and off. To do that you need an electromagnet. So you input current here and it generates a magnetic field. It does that by having a lot of turns of a wire around the metal core. The problem with this is it's ferromagnetic, which is like it attracts the magnet. So having this around here is not going to work really good when you power it off. It's just going it, to, it's a mess. Also, it's very thick. Like if you look, like that's not going to look like magic, is it? Like if it spins on the table and it's a like huge thing underneath, it's not going to... That's not impressive. So we wanted it as thin as possible. So we need to make our own electromagnet. And it needed to be thin and easy to manufacture. So what we came up with was PCB coils. This is really cool because we got this idea from this awesome guy called Carl Bujega. His YouTube channel is here. He does uh, small robots with uh, coils. PCB coils of flexible material. If we can do that, but make it more powerful. I thought it could work. So we tried it. And it does work. If you take these thin PCBs and then you stack them and that way you get a stronger magnetic field. Now the interesting thing is this is a brushless motor at this point but a normal brushless motor has a shaft and a bearing and the magnets are attached to this shaft and it, when it spins it can't go left right forward or back. This can. Like it can go all the way around everywhere. So we need to know where the egg is at all times to be able to fire these electromagnets at the right point. Because if you fire them at the wrong point, it's like when you push a kid on a swing and then you punch him in the face, it's, just, it's not going to work. So this is a new set of problems. We need to know where it is at all times. To do that, we can use analog HAL sensors. These are just sensors that sense how strong a magnetic field is and outputs an analog signal according to the field strength. So if we have multiple around the board, we know where the egg is by doing a lot of math. Okay, I'll show you. Here are coils, four coils. So we have a lot of power to get it started. We can fire these north or south by using these motor drivers. So we can push and pull every single coil individually. Depending on where the egg is, we can push at the correct spot. It was very annoying programming, I can tell you that. And it uses these sensors here to know where the egg is at all times. Obviously, you need to, someone has to do the math, and that's this guy. A processor, just a li little overpowered guy there. At this point, it worked. It worked really good. The problem was it looked like this. However, it's like the egg, it's just so mesmerizing. Like, it pulls your eye in, and it just mesmerizes you. And it's like, you can look at it for such a long time, and you just get lost in thought. But that's basically what meditation is. If you, if you focus that train of thought, you're in a meditative state. And this like, gives you like a, a cheat code. It, it basically just gave you a shortcut to enter that. It's amazing. So we thought this should be about meditation. So the design needed to reflect that. It needed to go, it needed to feel calm and interesting. And also you want to be able to interact with it. Normally, <clears throat> Manufacturers just slap on some uh, potentiometers. We didn't want that feeling like it doesn't fit with the magical feeling. So what we came up with was balls, ball bearings, and they are attached using magnets. So this has a magnet in a track with the Teflon tape. Magnet moves back and forth, and we use a bunch of HAL sensors to figure out where the magnet is. So this is basically just an analog slider. 
and it has resistance, but no stiction. Like it, and it works so good. This really took it to the next level again. It's just, it feels so nice. And this is a timer, so you can set the time you want the egg to spin before it falls over if you want to do a meditation session for a certain amount of time. The timer has discrete steps, just magnets that it moves back and forth between, so you know which position you're at. It's really cool because it makes this noise. When the time runs out, it brings you back to reality in a nice calm way instead of having a phone that beeps at you. I think I was really clever in this because the sensor is on the other side of the magnet. How does it know when the ball is above it? The magnetic field changes its shape depending on the ferromagnetic object that it's close to. So it could actually detect it. And it's just so cool. We also added two modes. So you can change the mode by moving this ball here. The first mode just changes the speed and this stays in the center. You can poke it and it moves around and you can play with it. It's, it's pretty nice. But then we have the random mode. Since we have four coils and we can shoot them at any time and we have sensors everywhere, we can pull the egg to one side or push it away in a manner where it starts to oscillate and it moves around very randomly. Since these are all analog sensors, we can take in all fluctuations from the environment and then just add that to a randomness uh, algorithm. It works so good. At this point, this is a product to me. It feels so good. Like, so we made a Kickstarter out of it. This will seem impossible in 25 seconds. We worry about things in the future that might or might not happen, or things in the past we cannot change. It's funny that now is the only time that exists, yet we are rarely present for it. This is what it feels like being focused, focused on yourself, where everything else doesn't matter, like this room that looked like this just 25 seconds ago. We designed something that would help you achieve this when you want. Set the timer and let the movement, depth, and randomness pull you in, slowing down time and removing distractions. This isn't magic crystals, it's science. Dedicating just 12 minutes a day to yourself to reduce stress, increase focus, and enjoy waking up rested, ready to go, is what we deserve. Every line, every curve, and every surface of Motion Zero has been carefully designed to provide both a visual and tactile experience. You can ground yourself and keep focus by touching it, playing with it, letting your fingertips see as well as your eyes. People at the top of their field do some form of it to become better at what they do. Some call it meditation, others mindfulness, deep concentration or caring for your delicate bonsai, whatever you want to call it. We just gave it a form. Now that the Kickstarter's out, please go check it out. We'd love your support. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now because we've been working tirelessly in the background to create new projects that are better than ever. As many of you know, David and I have been friends for a long time. We started out by working on flight tests together, then we did a movie together, then we collaborated on some Rotor Riot episodes. But who's this Jocko dude? I met Giacomo shortly after starting flight tests. He was a fan of the show and came all the way from Italy to hang out with us and sponsor an episode. Inspired by the world of YouTube, Giacomo started his own channel called Jocko Whatever. And then he launched multiple successful Kickstarter campaigns featuring products he and David worked on together. I've never met two more talented, intelligent, and passionate people in my life. Even though the three of us have been good friends for years, 
We have yet to all three work on a product together. Until now. <laughs>